Feel electricity here in the air. Hello and welcome. Absolutely ideal weather for football here in Manchester at the Etihad. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Manchester City versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson between the posts. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. And they kick off here. Jesus. Very quick thinking there. Jack Grealish. On to Holland. Oh, he's lost possession. Gundogan can they convert it's still alive and a goalkeeper in great form and he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there that is brilliant Short corner taken. De Bruyne. Can they forge ahead? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Martinelli. On to Jesus. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Ben White he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge Kevin De Bruyne Foden and that pass could be troublesome and there is the goal that gives him a well merited lead it had been coming Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, but you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Once again, Manchester City with the advantage. William Saliba. Thomas Partey. Jacker with it. 
Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Martinelli. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Holland. Real chance. Well, it certainly was a bold attempt. Good to see him try his luck with the chip. Well, it's a great attempt. Opts to lift it over the keeper. Just gets a little bit too much on it. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Erling Haaland. Foden. De Bruyne. On to Gundogan. It should be. Full credit. Wonderful stop. City pushing forward with options available. Holland, Erling Holland, and a goal! They've added to the lead, much needed security. Well, as this replay shows us, Gundogan runs with the ball so well, and Holland wasn't going to miss that one. From that sort of range, he was always going to score. What a well-constructed goal. The ball is moving again. Gabriel Martinelli. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Now can they win back possession and carve out another chance for themselves? Bukayo Saka. Possession one. Grealish. The supporters want to see him have a go. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. He's got the right idea with that pass. Walker. Foden. Will he play it in? De Bruyne. And the pass could do damage. Still possibilities. Holland. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. A city corner it is. Played over. Not all that convincing defensively. Foden. And still looking to get the shot off. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Half time. That will do it for the first half here at the Etihad. And off and running again, it really was spellbinding what we saw from City in the first half. So let's see how the second 45 plays out. De Bruyne, he read the situation defensively and did his job. Martin Odegaard. Plenty of support here. Good 
Corner kick given to Arsenal. But he's gone short with it. Xhaka. And it's in! This game very much back on as a contest. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So back in action, and Arsenal just one behind now. Phil Foden. Grealish. Can he put it away? And that's the hat-trick! Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle it. Just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Jesus. Partey. Now he must favour the cross. Now that pass easy on the eye. Credit to them for winning back possession. Holland. The ball with Rodri. De Bruyne. Not a great pass. Gabriel Martinelli. Gabriel Jesus. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. Xhaka. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. 20 minutes to go. Gundogan Rodri precise ball movement well honestly I didn't mean to jinx them just wasn't a very good pass finally and support available Gabriel Jesus there it is a fantastic goal and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. And the ball is moving again. 3 2. Grealish. De Bruyne now. It's a promising city move. De Bruyne. And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, 
Well, let's just take another look at this pass from Haaland. He has so much vision, and the Bruyne strike is absolutely perfect. Pace, power, and accuracy. What a player he is. Scoreline 4 2. Partey. Just cutting off the supply. To be replaced by number 26, Will Morris. Foden. And it might be. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Well, no two ways about it, Stuart. City absolutely cruising to victory today. Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just need to control possession for these final few minutes to cap off a really good display. Well, the electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. Tierney. And so the referee blows the whistle. It is the end of the contest, and the three points go to Manchester City. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance. And